Good afternoon to you, of course, coming to you all the way from Nasrek, Johannesburg. And of course, for the much anticipated uh, second edition of the National People's Assembly, of course, the hall I'm in right now is where most of the weekend's activities will be taking place. Of course, the election there of the EFF's top six will be taking place tomorrow. And uh, hopefully after that, uh, the following day on Sunday, we'll see the additional members of the Central Command team uh, taking place in this venue. And if I'll just ask my colleague to actually show you the seats and the decor of this place. Of course, each and every delegate will be seated according to their nine provinces. You've got uh, KZN there. We've got Eastern Cape and many other provinces that are actually represented here. Of course, uh, we came out of a media briefing uh, there earlier on around one o'clock. And of course, we have been told that it is all systems go. Uh, members of the EFF are coming in their numbers. Uh, almost 50% of those uh, members have already confirmed their registration and of course we are told that 10 more buses are being deployed uh, five are en route so by the end of today we should uh, have all those members uh, registered but I'm actually joined by party spokesperson Dr. Mbuyuseni Lozi uh, thank you so much for having us at the, um, at the SABC so from now on I mean how, how, how's the mood of the conference well, thank you very much, first of all, for having us. I'm sorry, I've got a little of a cough. So if I cough from time to time, uh, it's because of these uh, cantankerous weather conditions. But uh, conference is underway. And um, the majority of the mood, you can feel it at the registration center. Here, we're doing the final touch-ups uh, for the actual proceedings that are opening only tomorrow. So the venue we are in, is the actual venue of plenary. There are breakaway rooms, there is an exhibition, there is a media conference center and media lounge. Um, <coughs> these are some of the venues that uh, we find in the entire premises of Nazarek. Uh, it's all systems go. It's been a, a very, very smooth process. We're proud of our fighters that 90% um, of the delegates have arrived uh, through Nazarek, particularly the ones that are from outside provinces. There were only five buses that were still going to to arrive about two hours ago uh, and then the rest of the fighters or the delegates that are still expected from around Gauteng we want to take them through before the heavy traffic starts then starts the process of putting them in accommodation in different hotels around Johannesburg and they rest uh, we have an early start tomorrow with uh, the political report delivered by the CIC Julius Malema, the organizational report by the Secretary General Godrich Gadi, the Treasurer General's report delivered by Commissar Lian Mateis. And then we do constitutional uh, amendments and then we take nominations uh, uh, after a proper discussion of the political report uh, and the other reports as well as these constitutional amendments and we take the nominations of the officials. Just still sticking to issues of um, administration, how many delegates overall are expected here? 3,800 is the number of delegates that we are expecting that have gone through the system of branch general elections. Uh, branch General Assembly elections that have been given a mandate. So there might be some who may not make it, maybe because of a funeral, because you would know that uh, these delegates have been elected over two months ago uh, through the systems that had been put in place already. So some of them may uh, find themselves in this weekend being caught up in a funeral that was unexpected. Some may be sick. Uh, some uh, may have not known that they were going to be working uh, over this weekend. So there'll be a few shots there and there. But I think over 90% uh, of our delegates have uh, properly confirmed uh, to attend based at least on the transport plan that has brought them on board. Let's just get to the crux of some of the issues that we spoke about or that you addressed the media um, earlier on. So 32 million rand has been used for the conference. And of course, that goes to transport, that goes to uh, food, that goes to hotels and the very venue that we are in right now. Yes, absolutely. Those are the, the details. I think that the entire tally of the finances can be properly intelligently communicated after conference. There's still a lot of costs that... Uh, get keep getting incurred uh, but yes um, if you want to service our people with excellence and this is the point you want to show our people how actually must a government that loves you treat you by giving them the best service 
of black excellence to treat them and their collective meetings with dignity so that they know the decisions that are going to be taken are important decisions like uh, the importance of the quality of organization and detail that went through uh, the organizing of this conference. So, but also the questions of their safety, uh, the questions of uh, uh, accommodation, that they sleep in very, very proper places. Not, it's, not, it's not a luxurious conference, but it's decency that treats these people who come from villages, from squatter camps, from townships. Majority of the EFF members and activists uh, come from working class families and you're giving them an excellent treatment which gives them the idea that they are important and they're going to conduct their revolution with the same dignity and importance. And I hear you talk about excellent treatment. Where is this money coming from? Is it, are you funded by the EFF solely? Some may say VBS money? No, remember VBS is liquidated. It's actually a very foolish question to be still asking whether VBS can fund anyone because the story around VBS, as you know, is that it's liquidated. Liquidation means that they owe more than what they have and therefore that's why it was shut down. It is shut down. Majority of what's going on around it is to try and pay the debts uh, that it owes. So there's no money you can get from VBS. But EFF never got any money anyway from VBS. Let's close that because it's not there. It's used to try and dissuade the type of excellence and the fact that actually there's nothing negative to say about the EFF. There's nothing to falter us on our ideas on this excellence that has been uh, uh, that has gone through organizing this conference. And um, to be very very specific, what very proud uh, because the money that, it, that is used here is the hard earned money of the EFF having gone to campaign having gone to be to prove itself on the ballot on the national ballot its money legitimately end out of having worked hard these activists that are coming here they are the ones every day who sweat on the grounds campaigning for the EFF and that's the money that should be servicing them that's why the events of the EFF are properly organized to the detail because actually the money of the EFF works for the EFF we said let's go to another hot topic or hot potato. I mean, um, we saw the Senate statement earlier on today accusing you of acting unconstitutional. Uh, publications like the Daily Maverick report, the citizen have been banned from this, this conference. There's nobody um, in relation to this conference uh, that was banned. We had an excess of t 620 um, media personnel that wanted to come. That's larger than any single province that is bringing delegates here. Uh, that's a bigger crowd, we can't handle it. Uh, but also there's got to be a, a logistical consideration. All those people have to be in this conference. So it's not a ban, it's a logistical decision. Um, there's a live feed. Anyone that wants to follow the conference they can follow it on the EFF platform. It will be broadcasting all the open sessions live. But in relation to access to the premises, we've had to take a painful decision. And 80%, um, actually 90% of the media houses were cooperative. Uh, there's, <coughs> it's not just Daily Maverick. And I'll come back to that. Uh, there's community radio stations, there's international, uh, uh, some of the international media personnel that we have had to say cut down. Some of them say we all come or we don't come at all. So um, uh, that's the first uh, reality. We couldn't accommodate everyone. But will you be engaging SANEF on this, on this outcome? The problem with SANEF is the, is the reality that majority of the people that are running SANEF are conflicted about the EFF. Some of them have been to court to litigate against the EFF. How can they, you know, honestly and openly and objectively speak uh, uh, to the EFF about the EFF and all of that? So it's, we must immediately dispel the fact that SANEF actually represents a formidable independent organization. The important organizations for self-governance in the media uh, still have to be realized. They still have to be built. In relation to the Daily Maverick, it's not news. It's not breaking news. Uh, we have been on the record about the relationship that has completely broken down between ourselves and that institution, including uh, Amapungani. We have given evidence, uh, we have given uh, reasons to the, f to the effect that they have been infiltrated by covert intelligence organizations that seek the collapse of the EFF and uh, were unable 
as it were, to relate with them. So it's a protest that is not about the conference. The protest we are putting, like we used to put on ANN7. And uh, we've put this protest because we think that the solution in the long run is that all of South Africa's media needs to enter a real interrogation. Some of these people have already been independently exposed that they were on the payroll of security, secret security or, or intelligence organizations at the State Capture Commission. It's not, we're not crazy, we're not mad. It's a reality. South Africa's media has been compromised at many different levels. And where we have been able to find evidence to that effect of law a protest they should put their house in order because uh, uh, then that be becomes the condition for a conversation of uh, reworking the relations